The easiest place to begin is with a few of the physical buttons found around the outside of the screen. Although their location will vary from model to model, the buttons will operate the same way. For instance, the Apps button brings up all the apps currently available. Swipe your finger across the screen or use the left and right arrows at the bottom to see more icons. Continue swiping to get back to the first set. Tapping any of the app icons will launch it. Let's tap the traffic icon as an example. As you navigate into an app, you can back up one screen whenever the back arrow appears in the upper right corner. Just tap it. Home is probably the button you'll use most frequently. It takes you directly to a home screen you can customize to include the two or three features you use the most. Tap the feature and it will go full screen. To get back, just press the home button again. Pressing the audio button will bring up the audio screen for the last source that was playing. To change, tap the source button in the upper right corner, then tap the icon for the new source you want to listen to. Assuming your smartphone has been paired and connected, you can press the phone button to the right of the CD slot to go to the phone book. There you can search contacts and make a call with a tap of a name and then a number. Instead of using the touch screen, you can also access most of the apps using simple voice commands. That's the recommended way to go when you're driving.